Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Wolfosity and today we are checking out a brand new game that literally just came out today called Medieval Dynasty. Now it is on Steam for $27 right now. It's on a discount. And uh, I saw it on there and I thought I'd give it a shot. I watched a couple, watched the, the little trailer thing that they got and I read some of the reviews and I thought give it a shot. And show you guys and see what you guys think. Hopefully, I'm not in the way over here. I used to have a simple life. Whatever needed doing around the farm, I'd do it. <laughs> Being the eldest son, it's tough. But at least we had a living, and our plates were never empty. Then, the war came. I lost everything overnight. The last thing I remember is father pushing me away, yelling for me to run, to live. At first, I didn't know what to do. Then, I remembered. A story my mother once told me. A story about my uncle, Jordan. He made a modest fortune up north, in a peaceful valley far away from the war. For weeks I held on to that thought, until the valley from my mother's stories, I could see it. This is where I can start a new life. That was a pretty cool intro right there. I like that. Also, the medieval music. I don't know what it is, but I just really like it. I think it's just because I really like medieval games. I did buy uh, Mountain Blade 2, Bannerlord. I've been playing that quite a bit lately. Thought I'd take a break from it, though. Alright. So far, it feels, feels pretty good. Walking around. Feels really good looking around, you know. Feels pretty good. Can run. Alright, so let's go check out this new quest we got called Starting a New Life. Go talk to the uh, Castellan. Alright. Got no torch and punch. Go talk to this guy here. Hey stranger, what brings you to our valley? You don't look like a merchant or a pilgrim. Uh, no I'm not. What the fuck? Resimir is my name. And I came from the south looking for my uncle Lorden. I'll do that. In his old home they called him Lorden the... <laughs> Must... Must be a typo there. The raftsman or they mean craftsman. I'm gonna go with craftsman. Lorden, ah yes, he told me once about his life on the river. You came to the right place, but a few years too late, I'm afraid. He's a great man and even better friend, Resimir. As a good craftsman, yeah, was craftsman. And an excellent trader. He made a small fortune here. See the tavern over there? He built and ran it, as well as many other shops you will find in the valley. My mother told me that he got wealthy in the north. I had no idea how wealthy, but that doesn't answer my question. Uh, I'll do that one. Your uncle got himself killed, my friend. He had this idea of a huge trade with the German kingdom in the west. Five carts filled with the best iron ore, beautiful colored linen, and excellent beer. Pulled by ten oxen. He was not fooling fool, <laughs> I can't talk. He was not fooling around, I can tell you that much. But what happened? How did he die? His truck got ambushed by bandits. His carters slaughtered. He must have put up a good fight. Took two of them to death. Oh, took two with... Took two with them to death. 
from what we saw when we searched for him, I buried him myself, or better, what the wolves have left behind. What the wolves left behind. I'm sorry to be the bearer of such news. My uncle's dead. His wealth is gone. I came all, all the way here for nothing. Don't say that. I wouldn't let a nephew of Lorden go to waste. And even if most villagers forgot fast what they owe to your uncle, I have no intention to join them here. I am Castilian. Castellan. I think it's Castellan. Uh... And my word still carries weight. So tell me, can you build your own fortune? I can craft simple tools. I can collect my necessities from the wilderness. I know how to count and to barter. That's good enough. I may not have goods or gold to offer, but you can you can have as much land here as you want. Not sold, but granted to you for life. Build a house, grow vegetables, keep some livestock, and follow your uncle's dream. Are you serious? My own land? How much? As much as I want. As much as you put to good use, my boy, and as long as you can pay your taxes. I understand. Do you have any advice for me to start with? You can cut down trees to build your house. Reed grows by the river. It will work well for a roof. Do you have some food with you? Not much. If necessary, you will find several vendors in our village. If you don't have any money for food, you can always look for mushrooms in the forest or hunt animals. Maybe I could earn some coins somehow. Sure, you can talk to people here or in the villages. Maybe someone will pay pay for your help. Thank you so much for the advice. It's time for me to find the right place. Let me see. I have something special for you. This is the hammer your uncle used to build the house in which he grew old. What better tool could you use to build your first home here? Thank you very much. See you next time. Okay. So now... Got uh, tab menu, which is inventory, so that's perfect. Tab is what I normally pick for inventory. Got the construction wheel, which is Q, and inspector mode, which is left alt. Inspector mode lets you see where the villagers are in the area around you, as well as your items on the ground, like spears. You can also see the state of NPCs you are able to recruit. The inspector mode uses stamina, which, with talents, you can upgrade it as well. Okay. Alright, so we got inventory. So this is journal. Alright. Okay, I see, I see. Nice simple inventory here. So I got 50 coins, a couple oat rolls. Oat, oat rolls. No, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. I can't talk. <laughs> Dried meat, apples, wooden hammer. Okay, alright. Cool. So. Uh, okay, I see over there. Uh, I gotta go gather some sticks, rocks, and whatever else. So this is this mode. Okay, alright. Also, I got another quest over here. Uh. Some sticks. Well, so far it's it's pretty interesting. It's cool. All right, I got ten sticks now. Uh, rocks. Where can I find rocks? Uh, pickaxe. Huh? I gotta be able to find rocks somewhere, right? Gotta be some place I can find rocks. Ah, right here. Perfect. All right, that's two rocks. Okay, now I need to. Uh, what was it? Q. Building, crafting. This one. So far, it's it's pretty cool. It's it's pretty interesting. I I kind of like it. Now. I mean, we're only in the very beginning, so I would like to get get a house done. Also, she just popped, like, over there. <laughs> Alright, cut down this tree. Alright, alright. 
No. Ah. Okay. There are a couple of logs. I gotta cut down five trees. Oh. You gotta be like up on the tree to cut it. Okay, alright. There. Well, let's split it up now. There, logs. Perfect. All right, now well, we just gotta cut down three more trees and then uh, hopefully we can build our house. Oh yeah, we're, we're working on building our house actually. <laughs> he said that uh, reed grows by the river and he said it'd be good for a roof. All right, so this kind of stuff right here, cattails? No? straw um the map okay oh oh there's a bigger bigger map than I thought it was I thought you were just stuck here but no so I don't exactly know where to get straw from and that's kind of a problem I need straw. Um, that doesn't help me. Uh, looks looks like a field here. So, let's talk to this guy. Hi. <laughs> Hi, I'm all 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 win. All one. I don't recognize you. Are you new here? I came here from the south. I am looking for a new place for myself where I can start a new life. Well, good luck. <laughs> All right. Every day I cultivate fields. In fact, I do the same thing every day, year to year. Doesn't it bore you? If I were you, I would die of boredom. Of course it bores me. How long can you do the same thing in life over and over again? But... The family needs my help, and I'm doing my best. Did I offend you? Sorry. <laughs> it's fine. On top of that, the handle of my damn scythe broke. Now it takes even longer to harvest the crops. I think I know how to help you with this. I will be back soon. Okay. Does this mean I can get some... Uh... Some straw. Some resources. Here we go. Yeah, it says can be a obtain <laughs> can be attained from the reed growing on the banks of rivers or crafted while threshing in barn harvested crops from the field. Okay. <coughs> This is a story quest. Oh, okay. Deliver one stick. Is, is that literally it? Just one stick? <laughs> Sorry, I, I wasn't reading it. Alright, you surprised me. Are you some kind of craftsman? How did you know? How did you know how to do it? I know how to create simple things. We're learning something new every day, right? Maybe. I'm a farmer like my father, and I don't know much else. You never know when something will be handy in your life. Anyway, thanks for your help. I should get back to work. Sure, the rye won't cut itself. See you later. Yes, bye. End dialogue. Alright. Wait for next day. No, 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 no. I need some freaking straw so I can build my house so let's track this quest oh boy so we just gotta look for reed then 
I wonder if there's some over here. Ah! I found it! <laughs> found some reed. Come on. Probably need that later. Oh, I can't even move. Okay, then. Let's drop half. And I can barely move. So where do I... I have to build out here or something? Or can I build in the village? I mean, I want to build out in the woods, but. Food, yeah. Gonna need food. Where's the door on this thing anyway? That's the back. Okay, the door's right here in the front. Okay. Um. Alright. Just gonna build right there. Sweet. Okay. Um, should have a hammer, yeah, right here, right here. Well, the building's pretty cool. What do you mean? Where's my logs? I had like 10 of them on me. That's fine. I got a couple right here. Oh, let me just rebuild, okay? So, so far, you can obviously tell the game's in early access, you know, that's to be expected. This game just released today, so that's to be expected. Oh, no, I have no sticks. But, so far, I'm liking the game. It's pretty cool. I can't wait to see what else you can do in the game. At least from the construction menu, it looks like there's quite a bit you can build. We got a hunting lodge, one and two, fishing hut, one and two. Uh, we got woodshed, one and two, excavation shed, and a mine. Uh, some storages, we got a couple resource storages, food storage, crafting, we got workshop, smithy, smithy two, sewing, one, two, and three, tavern, one, two, and three. Yeah, it seems like there's uh, quite a bit you can do. There's also a couple other houses you can make. So there's the small or simple small house, which is one, the one I'm making right now. The simple house and then the house. And then there's also other stuff. Oh, you got fences. That's, that's cool. I like the fences. I would love to put up some palisades. Or just even like a, just a little simple fence. It'd be cool to put around your house. And you got archery target, wash tub, traps. Alright. And fences, campfires. That's that's pretty cool. There's actually quite a bit quite a bit you can do in the game so far. I don't know about much for quests yet, because I've only done the two quests so far and I'm still I'm 
Okay, one quest, because I'm still working on the house one. But, this game seems pretty cool to me. Like, I think it was worth it. I think it was worth it, worth the 27 bucks so far. As long as they can continue to work on it, <coughs> and not abandon it like some people, like Code Hatch. <coughs> what? It's like, because uh, Reign of Kings was really fun. Speaking of Code Hatch, Reign of Kings was really fun. And I played uh, Heat. Now I can't even find it anywhere. Then again, I haven't really, <laughs> I haven't really looked for it much lately. Just because it was so atrociously laggy last time I played it, I just did not want to do it. I couldn't, I couldn't stand it anymore. But, uh, this game, I can honestly say that I would recommend it. You know, if you want a little more content, just go ahead and just wait a little bit. Just keep an eye on the game. Maybe just wishlist it for now. And, uh, come back to it later. If, uh, there's not enough content for you to, you know, justify buying the game, but... I don't know, I just thought it would be a pretty fun game, so I went ahead and got it. Give it a shot. You know, there's always the refund option. <coughs> On Steam, at least. Oh. But, uh, yeah, seems like a pretty cool game. Uh, I'm probably going to end this episode, or at least this video, here. If you guys want to see more on this game then go ahead and hit the like button or comment down below letting me know and uh, I will definitely hop back on this game and actually record it for you guys I'll probably play a little bit more we'll see but I just really wanted to show you guys this game and also since I've been gone for a month off of YouTube I uh, thought I'd pop on make a video although this is mostly focusing on this game because this game just came out today and I want to show it off to people can I oh 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 okay all right I don't know if you guys saw that but I'm not pressing any buttons just walk through the door boom that's pretty cool it's just like the forest how you can uh, walk through the door but I was saying more straw. So anyway, uh, I want to thank you guys for watching this video. Uh, let me know if you do end up getting the game or what do you guys actually think of the game. And uh, if you guys want a series on this on this game, let me know. I can I can definitely do that. This game's pretty fun. But I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and end it here. It's been about 30 minutes of recording, so I think I got enough footage to show off. The, at least the beginning of the game. Uh, there's obviously more to do. Still stuff to get done in the game, but this is a good premise. It shows you what the game is. The controls feel really good. It feels fluid. That's what a lot of the reviews were saying. And, you know, you have to play it for yourself to see if it's fluid for you. And it, it feels pretty good. So if anybody's ever played uh, Kingdom Come Deliverance, it's kind of like that, just less. I don't, I don't know, at least I don't know about combat yet, but uh, it's kind of like that in a way, at least with the the movement, I should say. But yeah, this is uh, Medieval Dynasty, released today on Steam. It's $27 currently, and uh, if, you, if you guys like the game, go ahead and go pick it up or check it out, or maybe check out a couple more videos. I mean, I'm sure there's... Uh, some better in-depth gameplay videos but this is my first impressions of the game this is my first time playing the game and uh i can say i i can recommend it this is a pretty pretty cool game it's got a good idea obviously they got some work to do uh there's not many bugs as far as i can tell other than that but that uh, uh ai popping around when i was chopping that tree earlier but uh yeah seems pretty good so this is medieval's dynasty Thank you guys for watching, and I'll uh, see you guys next time. Don't forget to 
join the pack.